almost necessary to have at least two good wide receivers on your team if you want to be successful in the NFL. Now, some teams can't get away with just one wide receiver because that receiver is really freaking good. But if anything were to happen to that one receiver, you're kind of in a bad spot. We wanted to take a moment to acknowledge those wide receivers that aren't in a number one role, but could emerge into one someday. Just a rule of thumb before we get started, this list will not consist of players who've already been a wide receiver one for multiple seasons in the past. So Adam Thielen, Julio Jones, and Odo Beckham Jr. are off the table. I'm Hassan Khan of Time to Football, and here are 10 wide receiver twos that are good enough to be wide receiver ones. Number 10, Will Fuller. Fuller was drafted in the first round in 2016 to complement DeAndre Hopkins. He's always been labeled as a number two receiver his whole career. When Hopkins was traded to Arizona and arguably the most fair trade in NFL history, Fuller had his chance to be the number one receiver. But then, the man that executed that absolutely 100% most fair trade in NFL history traded for Brandon Cooks later on just a few months later. At first, Fuller was starting to emerge as the number one target, but Cooks began to out-target Fuller as the season went on. He signed with the Dolphins in 2021, but his lingering injury history came back to haunt him. He may never be as productive as he was in 2020, but it's possible that he could be a decent wide receiver one if he plays a full season. Number 9. Elijah Moore Technically serving as the number two behind Corey Davis, Moore's upside began in training camp, where reports surfaced about how great he looked. It was just a matter of time before he blossomed into a threat, and he showed flashes of that in 2021. Moore had a stretch of games his rookie season where he showed much promise. He had a five-game stretch where he scored five touchdowns. He was red hot, but an injury cut his season short. It's unclear what the Jets would do with the receiving core this offseason, but there's a good chance that Moore could be the Jets' leading receiver in 2022. Number 8. Jerry Judy To say that 2021 was disappointing for Judy is actually very accurate. He finished the season with zero touchdowns, serving as the number two receiver on the depth chart behind Cortland Sutton. Judy was drafted 15th overall in 2020 and was labeled by many as the next breakout wide receiver in the NFL. With Sutton signing an extension to stay in Denver, Judy will continue to serve as the number two receiver on the depth chart. He hasn't been meeting many's expectations thus far, but that could be attributed to poor quarterback play. If the Broncos were to bring in the right guy, Judy would blossom into a thousand yard receiver in no time. Number 7, Brandon Ayuk. There is no coach in the NFL that is more honest, but also more secretive than Kyle Shanahan. When the team drafted Trey Lance, he immediately didn't shy away from saying that Jimmy Garoppolo would be traded very soon. But when Brandon Ayuk wasn't getting targets early on in 2021, he never provided a clear answer on why. Ayuk eventually picked up production in the second half of the season, but the incredible flashes we saw his rookie year took some time to resurface in his second season. With Debo Samuel being the clear number one receiver, Ayuk more than likely won't surpass him on the depth chart. But in the instances that Samuel is inactive, Ayuk has shown that he's capable of leading the 49ers receiving core. Number 6. Chase Claypool Claypool's mindset and demeanor seems to be the turnoff for the NFL community, but his spot on his list is purely from a football standpoint. With 2022 being the final season on Deontay Johnson's contract, it's not out of the question that Claypool will eventually become Pittsburgh's number one receiver. Everything from his build to his athleticism makes him capable of becoming a wide receiver one one day. The retirement of Ben Roethlisberger could hinder that, but if Pittsburgh gets a decent quarterback, look out for Claypool in a couple years. Number 5. Michael Gallup Anyone that truly watches Michael Gallup play knows that he's something special. In fact, the Cowboys made the decision to move on from Amari Cooper because they wanted to prioritize a contract for Gallup. Had Gallup hit the free agent market, he would have been a top receiver for any team. In just the second season back in 2019, he topped 1,100 yards and six touchdowns serving as the number two receiver. With the addition of CeeDee Lamb in 2020, Gallup has still put up respectable numbers serving as the number three receiver. With Lamb and Gallup expected to be the top two targets of 2022, you can expect a season similar to 2019 where he topped 1,100 yards. Number 4. T. Higgins For the past few years, the Bengals have been deep at wide receiver. Higgins was drafted in 2020 alongside Joe Burrow and immediately made an impact. He put up 900 yards his rookie season and then improved to almost 1,100 yards in 2021. 
Once AJ Green left for free agency in 2021, Higgins was slated to be the number one target. Many people were expecting the Bengals to draft an offensive lineman in 2021, but the team rolled with Jamar Chase, which ended up being a great pick. But Chase's emergence put Higgins and his number one status on hold. In just two seasons, Higgins has fought for targets with AJ Green, Tyler Boyd, and Jamar Chase. His numbers as a wide receiver two alone are good enough to make him a wide receiver one. But with Chase looking better than ever, it might be a few years before we see Higgins as a true number one target in the NFL. Number three, Mike Williams. A former top 10 pick, Williams was drafted to be the number two behind Keenan Allen. In his first four years, he served as a decent number two receiver, but given where the Chargers drafted him, he never lived up to the hype. That was until this past season, when offensive coordinator Joe Lombardi made it a point to feature Williams in the offense more. Williams delivered, putting up over 1,100 yards and nine touchdowns in 2021. He's always been viewed as a deep threat, catching almost anything thrown his way deep in single coverage. His athletic ability and his physical stature would make any team happy if he was their featured receiver. This video was recorded prior to free agency, so we'll see if he re-signs with the Chargers or if he'll become a wide receiver one with another team for the first time in his career. Number two, CeeDee Lamb. The Cowboys had no intention of drafting a wide receiver in 2020, but with Lamb still available, they made the move on him. Dallas was not disappointed, with Lamb emerging as the best player in training camp year after year. That translated into production on the field. In his rookie season, Lamb was just shy of 1,000 yards, but had himself a Pro Bowl season in 2021, bringing in 1,100 yards and 6 touchdowns. As we mentioned when we discussed Michael Gallup, Lamb is set to become the number one receiver with the Cowboys moving on from Amari Cooper. If he can put up 1,100 yards as a number two receiver, the sky is the limit for CeeDee Lamb in 2022. And number one, Chris Godwin. Godwin's emergence began in 2018 when he brought in 842 yards and seven touchdowns. He had a career season in 2019, bringing in 1,300 yards and nine touchdowns. Now, a lot of the yardage can be attributed to Jameis Winston's 30 for 30, I don't give a f just go deep season, but Godwin had another great season in 2021, bringing in 1,100 yards and five touchdowns. He was set to be one of the highest paid receivers in the NFL if he tested free agency. But with Chris Godwin getting the franchise tag, we're gonna have to wait another year at least before we see him as a true wide receiver one. Who are some other wide receiver twos that could emerge as a wide receiver one someday? Leave your comments down below and let us know your thoughts. Also, subscribe to this channel so you guys can stay up to date when we come out with more top 10 lists every single Tuesday. Be sure to follow us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.